Hello, welcome back to our Praise at Three Holy Week box specials. Today's session is for Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, excellent. Uh, now then, hopefully you've uh, managed to get all the bits and pieces together for your box. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is think about where you're going to put it on display. Uh, you want it somewhere special where everyone's going to see it. Uh, you might want to put it somewhere might want to find a special cloth to stand it on, to sit it on, so that, it, so that everybody knows that it's important, that it's special, uh, that it's uh, going to stay there for the week. Uh, or you might want to uh, design a background for it. So uh, I cheated and I printed one off, uh, but you could do a, a Jerusalem cityscape, something like that. Uh, and then you can imagine if I just put the box up here, just a little bit higher, you can imagine if I did that, Everyone will see it as they walk past and they'll see that it's a, uh, uh, meant to be a setting in Jerusalem. So, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to read uh, a passage of scripture, aren't we? We're going to read from the Bible yep. and uh, so each day we're going to read the Bible and we're going to read a passage that is from an event uh, that happened in the very first Holy Week. And today's passage is Mark chapter 11 verses 1 to 10. Jesus and his disciples reached Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives. When they were getting close to Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of them on ahead. He told them, go into the next village. As soon as you enter it, you'll find a young donkey that has never been ridden. Untie the donkey and bring it here. If anyone asks you why you're doing that, say, the Lord needs it and will soon bring it back. The disciples left and found the donkey tied near a door that faced the street. While they were untying it, some of the people standing there asked, why are you untying the donkey? They told them what Jesus had said and the people let them take it. The disciples led the donkey to Jesus. They put some of their clothes on its back and Jesus got on. Many people spread clothes on the road, while others went to cut branches from the fields. In front of Jesus and behind him, people went along shouting, Hooray! God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hooray for God in heaven above! So that's the story of the events of Palm Sunday. Now what we're going to do with our boxes is we're going to recreate some of that. So what do we need from our box? Our lovely green We need our lovely paper. green pieces of paper, absolutely. And what we're going to do with our green pieces of paper? We're going to cut them. We're going to cut them. So what you want to do is, if I can find your best one, oh I can't find, there it is, it's over here. I cheated, I'd already got it out. So what you want to do is take your green paper and cut it into some leaf shapes. Uh, and then what I've done, I've just drawn some lines on there for you so you can see where you want to cut in uh, on each side of each leaf. Uh, roughly like that, it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but you're making some palm leaves. And what you can then find is when you've snipped in on each side, oh these ones are stuck together, there we go, when you cut in on each side you'll find that there are some, it gives a lovely shape to the leaf. A nice leaf pattern and we just as I said we happen to have two different uh, yep that's all right I know you hurt your elbow don't worry mate and um, we happen to have two different colors so we've got multiple different leaves there you want maybe five six something like that nothing much more than that who else do we need from the box Jesus we need Jesus from the box absolutely and what are we going to do with these characters what are we going to do with these bits and we're going to line them up so Jesus can walk on That's them. right, we're going to put them out as a path for Jesus to walk on, like, like rolling out the red carpet, which is what they were doing. Excellent, thank you. So you can and see Jesus. Daniel's uh, laid out the leaves and he's putting Jesus... Oops, can we stand Jesus up so he doesn't fall over? Thank you. There we go. And you can see we've stood Jesus on the box and, uh, and he's walking along, along the palm one. leaves. Need that Fabulous. Ones. Yeah, well, absolutely. If we put the background with it as well, then what you'll see is it looks like Jesus is walking in the in and near Jerusalem. Works well, that's now. Yeah. Good. 
Now, when we've created some stuff with our Holy Week box, the next thing that we're going to do, thank you very much, next thing to do is to ask a question. And uh, so each day we ask a question that goes with the, with the story of the event that happened and uh, we encourage you to have a think about that question and answer it amongst yourselves. So today we remember that the people waved palm leaves to welcome Jesus into Jerusalem and that they laid them uh, at his feet, they laid their cloaks at his feet to welcome. So the question is, how can we welcome Jesus into our home? How can we welcome Jesus into our home? So what are they going to do now? Pause it. So you need to pause the video. We're going to pause the video uh, and uh, we're going to ask you to ask that question amongst yourselves. See if you can come up with some good answers to how can we welcome Jesus into our home. And then when you've done that, we've got one more thing for you to do. So pause the video now. now. All right, now that you've paused the video and that you've done your talking, uh, the next thing for you to do is uh, we're going to finish today with the Lord's Prayer. Every day we're going to finish with the Lord's Prayer. So we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, we hope you enjoyed that first session of uh, the Praise at Three Holy Week boxes. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for session two, Holy Monday. Bye for now. Bye.